Now lately, a lot of you fellow Christians aren't here. Other people do, but a lot, especially Christians, have been telling me to tone it down. You guys have been telling me that I'm going about this in the wrong way, that I'm too aggressive, that I'm, you know, taking action like this and it's wrong, and I should be doing it in a kinder, you know, softer, gentler way. Well, you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. You know what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Well, we know what Jesus would do. The Bible is full of examples of what Jesus would do. And I have an example right here. All right. By the way, everybody, uh, I I'm using a different Bible. Uh, it appears that Satan has absconded my previous copy. Uh, he's a trickster. It or I lost it. I'm not really sure. Anyway, anyway, it says right here, it says right here, now this is Mark chapter 11, verses 12 to 14. It's called, Jesus Curses the Fig Tree. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, he was hungry. Talking about Jesus. Seeing the distance of fig tree in leaf, he went to see whether perhaps he would find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no one ever eat for the fruit from you again. And the disciples heard it. And you see what happened? See, what happened was, Jesus was really hungry. And he was tired, and he saw up in the distance a fig tree. And he was, he was just exhausted, and he wasn't thinking clearly, and he forgot that it wasn't fig season. So he went running up to the tree, all happy and expectant. And when he got there, there was no figs. None. And he was pissed off. And he basically said to the tree, okay, he basically said to the tree, Damn you, tree, I'm going to give you a vasectomy. And he did. He made sure that that tree never produced seeds again to have fig tree children. You see, that's what Jesus would do, okay? When something's there to piss him off, he gets mad and he does something about it. And he yells, and, and it says right there in the last part, the disciples heard him. All right, he was out ahead. He, he was walking ahead. He ran ahead. But they were still close enough that they heard Jesus talking to the tree. They heard the conversation that Jesus was having with the tree. They knew it happened. They knew it. That's how we know. Because Jesus didn't actually write anything. But, uh, you know, other people did that were around him. And, uh, and we know that this is, this is what happened. And, and that's what Jesus would do. He, he would get pissed off and start yelling and cursing things. And that's what I do, too. I, you know, get pissed off and yell and stuff. That's what Jesus would do. Now, you have to understand something very important, though. What would Jesus do? That's what you have to ask. Now, Jesus and God are the same thing, and they do the same things. But they also are not the same thing, and they don't do similar things. You see what I mean? Jesus, what would Jesus do? That's what Jesus would do. There's a lot of different things that Jesus would do. You, you, you can't ask yourself, what would God do? That doesn't work. You see, God makes a lot of you know, commandments. He tells you to do a lot of things. But, you know, I mean... He kills a few people from time to time, you know, you know, to, to get back at various people. And, you know, about the, the flood, about the genocide he committed and all that. It's okay because he's God, all right? But if humans do it, you know, if humans, if humans uh, commit genocide like Hitler, that's bad. See, when God does it, it's good. When humans do it, it's bad. You're supposed to follow what he says, not what he does. So you can either follow what would God say or what would Jesus do. If you actually did what God would do... Well, that would be a whole different story. I mean, everyone would probably be carrying around, you know, cans of gasoline on their belts with lighters and dousing people in gasoline and lighting them on fire every time, you know, some, some bad happened. So clearly, you have to do what would Jesus do or what would God say. Very important distinction. But that, that's, what, that's how it is. Uh, it, it's okay. It's okay to, to get mad. It's okay to yell. It's okay to get pissed off and to do a bunch of stuff, because that's what Jesus would do. That is why me, and Glenn Reb and all the others that act like we do, it's okay, it's biblical. Alright, it's biblical. Amen.